Hey guys, time to wrap this turn up with the victory determination phase. Uh, we're going to add each player's VPs this turn to their VPs. So if we come over here, we can see the non-allied player collected 39. They're at 55. That's going to be 94. So we're going to put a 10 marker in the 90. Move this one marker. Uh, hmm. This will just stick it in there somewhere. And leave this leave this here because we'll use that during the initiative determination. Although I think uh, strategic surprise, the non ally player gets it automatically anyway for game turn two. The allied player didn't earn any VPs this turn, so that's not going to change. So I'm going to take the VP differential and move it. We're at 94 minus... 37, which is 57. Put that there. I think you need 125 for an auto determination. Uh, let's see. No, no, don't have to worry about nuclear weapons release. So yeah, the next thing is check for auto victories. Uh, let's see. There is 125 points in the strategic surprise scenario. Had these airborne air assault guys cleared one of those hexes in Warsaw, we'd be rolling on the table, but we're not. So the next thing is to advance the game turn marker. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, playthrough here. I will probably not be doing a blow by blow. I'll finish this one up or get close to it. Probably just reporting on the highlights. So I hope all this stuff helps you guys. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.